Today I'm at Bangkok Auto Salon here in Bangkok, Thailand. And I've come here for Southeast Asia's largest custom car show. There are so many amazing cars here from so many different shops and individuals, as well as accessories and manufacturers. I'm really excited to show you around this event today. And since we're already right here, I'm gonna start with what is probably one of my favorite cars already. I know, we just got here, but this DTM styled Mercedes is absolutely bonkers. I have never seen this car before with the roof rack on it, but I've seen this car itself at other shows. And I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite cars because I'm a huge German DTM fan. And of course, it's rocking a CB Media sticker. And Chad is actually here at the show walking around. Here we've got something else you don't see often in Thailand, and that is a Dodge Challenger. These are very rare here, and don't forget, there is a 300% import tax duty on any cars not built here in Thailand. Another Infinite Motorsports car, Liberty Walk Acura NSX, the first generation. And I gotta say that these flares, everything on this car, it looks right. A lot of times, for me, the Liberty Walks are a little bit too much. However, this car here, the proportions, they really work well. Here we have another homage to the Initial D anime series, the A86 Toyota Corolla Trueno. Love this paint scheme. It's kind of got a brushed on look to it. It really fits this car well with all the decals and the design is made to look like it is rendered in a cartoon. This whole row of cars, starting with this, these are all from Tokyo Auto Saloon, all the way to the back. Let's take a look at this. This is a Subaru BRZ that has been completely modified by S Design. The rear end is very interesting. The front end has been completely worked. This whole car is just really stunning. Never quite seen this kind of a hood on the BRZ. Love these huge tires. And again, the Japanese always have their own way of customizing cars and styling them. Beautiful Liberty Walk Skyline R35 GTR. I don't know, blue is not my favorite color, but on this car with the carbon fiber hood and roof, it really works amazingly well. And the body kit on this, it really pops. The show is actually smaller this year than last year, and I'm really surprised. However, there's so much here to see, so I'm gonna walk you around and show you everything that I find interesting. Right now, we're in the four-wheel drive expedition vehicle area, and there are Toyotas here, there are Fords here. There's all sorts of crazy stuff here. There's even this Porsche 911 with a tent on the roof. This is crazy. Would you go camping with a Porsche and sleep on the roof like this? I love all these expedition vehicles, and oh my God, you gotta check this thing out. I believe this is a Nissan Patrol. These are just wild vehicles. Don't see hardly any of these in the US, so every time I see one here, I'm always in love. And this one looks to be about from the late 90s or so. Honda S2000s here in the country of Thailand are ridiculously expensive. We're talking $100,000 for a clean, unmodified car. And this modified S2000 here, well, somebody's poured a lot of time, money, and love to make it look like this. The third generation RX-7 is a car I simply adore. Having owned the first and second generation, I've never owned one of these cars, but the lines on it, such a beautiful car. I think I would leave mine mostly stock, I'm not a huge fan of the big wings. This year, the show runs June 28th through July 2nd here at Impact Challenger Arena in Bangkok. So you have plenty of time to go and take a look at the show if you are here in the country of Thailand. 
My first car was a 1969 Mustang, and although I'm not a huge fan of the newer Mustangs, this right here, this gray Mustang in this light gray shade, something about this flatter color, it's just popping. It's simple, it's not overdone. I love the color of the wheels. I've never seen flares like this before, and the roof spoiler has a very Mad Max look to it. This car, man, I would hands down drive this thing. I'm totally in love with the Suzuki Jiminy. This thing's obviously been completely modified and it reminds me of 1960s Broncos. The roll cage, the seats inside, it's very reminiscent of that, but just in a very minuscule configuration. Uh, this thing looks like a little toy, but the build quality on it is just insane. I better get rolling here because the Thai models, they're started screaming on the microphone. And as you know from other videos, once they start, they do not stop. Thailand loves its G-Wagons and these over here, these two are no exception jacked up, I don't know, like a foot, a nanometer, a kilometer. The black one and the gray one, man, these things will go anywhere, intimidate people, and get you one of the best parking spots here at any shopping mall in Thailand, because yes, there is supercar parking at the malls. Although I think with the height of this thing, you won't be able to fit it into the parking garage. Now we're walking through the influencer car zone and there's quite a few interesting cars here, but right over there, there is a car and there is its owner. Let's go take a look. I think you might know who it is. And of course, you guys know Chad of CB Media and this is Cream Pie, his E30 series BMW that is powered by the S65 engine from the BMW E92 M3 along with a six speed manual gearbox. Still has a stock rear end, the engine is mainly stock, and this car is really, really cool. I've gotten a ride in his Mitsubishi Evo. I'm still waiting to get a ride in Cream Pie. Oh yeah, it's tight. It is tight, even with that wheel. So Chad said I could go and sit in this car, so we're gonna climb into the Chad Mobile here and check it out. He's six foot three, I'm like 5'11", so I'm not sure if I could fit in here, but oh my goodness. Oh, I'm loving the interior of this thing. These bucket seats are amazing, and this nardy steering wheel, this thing is nice, Alcantara covered. The whole interior is definitely just purpose built. I love Cream Pie, this E30 BMW. I'm a huge BMW fan. Had a nice chat with Chad, chat with Chad, talk with Chad. But now let's take a look at some of these other influencer cars here. This Suzuki Samurai, I don't know what it is. You don't see many Suzuki Samurais in the US, especially in this condition. This thing's just blowing me away. Just like last year, there are other car manufacturers here. This year, we have Mazda, Honda, and Toyota. Last year, there was quite a few more car manufacturers, and the whole show was actually twice this size. I'm really surprised that after the whole, you know, situation thing, that this year, there is half the people here, half the cars. It's a much smaller show, which is a bit disappointing, but it's still well worth checking out if you are a car person. Of course, you can't have a car show without the beautiful Thai models, and they are definitely here. Hello! And of course, how can I forget Isuzu, the homeland favorite here in Thailand, the Isuzu D-Max truck, and other Isuzu models are well represented at this show. I'm not a car specialist in any one make or model. I just love cars in general, so I love them all. And now over here, I've come to the Honda Civic EG hatchback setup. They've got four different EG hatchbacks here, and these things are all from about the late 90s, mid to late 90s, like 95, 97, 98, in that area. Love these, don't see many of these on the road anymore. And right here you have four super clean examples with four very different styles of how people modified their Honda EG Civic hatchbacks. If you watch my videos long enough, you know I make a lot of mistakes. And of course, how could I have missed BMW over here? All these BMW motorcycles and cars, there's not a ton here, maybe a dozen or so, but. This is like my favorite brand. I could spend all day here looking at all of these motorcycles and cars that BMW makes. 
If I had to pick a BMW motorcycle for adventure touring, this would be it. I know I've mentioned it before, I used to own a BMW R1200 GS. This is a BMW R1250 GS. This is one of the most capable off-road bikes. Huge gas tank. It's got these huge bags in the back that you can store everything. It's got great ground clearance. All the technology that BMW could muster into this bike, including anti-lock brakes, adjustable suspension. This bike is amazing. However, for Bangkok traffic, this thing is gigantic. But if you wanted to go on a cross-country adventure, hands down, this is the bike that I would pick. And as much as I love BMWs, this new BMW M2 with this garish front end, it looks like it's been disguised as a test mule car. It's very squared off on the front. The grille is just quite horrendous, and I'm not sure what's going on here with these fender flares. They're kind of round, they're kind of square, and the whole body line here and the back lower quarter panel, it just doesn't jive. I think that the new M2 is a very strange looking car, and it almost looks like a mule development car. What do you guys think? Another area that is a favorite of mine, this is the Bimmer Meet area. And this first car, this 6 Series BMW, with this very interesting rear hard tonneau cover. I've never seen this, so this is not a factory piece on the back. This has to be aftermarket. And here, in contrast to the new M2, is the beautiful old M2 design. You can see that the front grille is nice and clean. The box flares are well integrated and smooth. The whole design of this car is just very flowing, very clean. There's always something to surprise me at Thailand car shows. And this right here is no exception. This is a BMW 850, which has a V12 powering it. And this is an Alpina B12 5.0. It's got the Alpina badges. Alpina wheels. I believe this is probably a true Alpina model. Something that is very rare to see anywhere, let alone here in the country of Thailand. If you watch my video from the Skyline meet, this is the same Subaru WRX McRae replica here. Again, the blue, the color, these huge light pods, everything about this car is done ridiculously well. I've just been told that there's a Skyline meet in the parking lot. So let's walk out there and take a quick look. The Skylines are in the back row. However, in the front is a lot of Z cars. This is the Z Club of Thailand, the Nissan Z Club. Most of these are going to be 350 and 370 Nissan Zs because the older cars, they're extremely expensive, hard to find here, mainly because you cannot bring in any used vehicles into Thailand. So the value of the cars in the country just continue to go up. We have a whole row of Nissan Skyline GTRs, R34s, R32s. I believe there's a few R33 here as well. And it's about eight different cars. Really nice to see these guys bring their cars out and show them here so everyone can see them. It's always vital to go check the back parking lots at any car show, because that is where you will find some of the most interesting things. These vans are so baller. People in this country that have money, they typically don't drive themselves. They get driven around in these vans. And these guys right here, these are custom vans, privately owned. 
The interior designs are crazy. I always get a huge smile when I see these custom vans, but this over here, this blue van, this thing takes the cake. You gotta see the inside of it here, guys. Check out these clear seats. They're not just clear seats. That is a subwoofer there. Subwoofer is behind, and we've got some kind of a compressor system here. Not sure what that's powering, but man, this thing is wild way too hot out there got to come back inside here take a look at some more cars to show you guys and then i gotta go get some lunch because i'm hungry something else that we never got in america was this the toyota land cruiser pickup truck this thing is completely restored i'll be afraid to take it off road the blue paint with the red stripe really pops and this canvas top on the back of it it's just in pristine condition this whole thing is restored top to bottom and i'm sure it doesn't go off road Another piece of Americana, late 60s, early 70s Ford Bronco, in right-hand drive, no less. Difficult to find in the U.S., not sure how they got it here. Right-hand drive conversion, very cool vehicle. Check out some of my other videos. Guys, please don't forget to take care of yourselves, and I'll see you very soon in another one of my videos. Bye!